Hi, good morning, good afternoon, good night, whenever ever you are. Welcome to the channel. My name is Leticia and today we are starting a series. What do you think about that? Is makeup shorties. Well, that's the name so far. If you have a better suggestion, you can, you know, hit me in the comments later. But what is this about? Basically, short YouTube videos that approach only one part of makeup. Suppose you have to brainstorm foundation or eyeshadow. That's the video you're going for. You don't have to watch the whole thing, the whole face being done. You go for one video that has the information you need so it's easier and faster for everyone today we are talking about skin prep so basically skin the base makeup let's jump right in so let's start in the very beginning of what every makeup should be. Do you need makeup to look good? No, you don't. You can stop a skin prep. If your skin looks healthy, nice, glowy, do you need makeup? No. This video is meant for people that are starting with makeup, maybe they're not comfortable yet, or maybe you're not like comfortable with makeup or you don't use it often, but sometimes you want to do a little bit more, you know, like look a little bit special, like you have a special meeting, you have a date or something like that and you want to you know do a glow up <laughs> do something uh, that you feel better in well okay this is for you it's also for people that might be having some trouble in specific areas of their makeup but if you don't want to use makeup you don't have to just join us for the chat it's fine but skin prep that i must say it's kind of a necessity no you don't have an option you have to do it <laughs> basically because that's not just hygiene like oh, it's hygiene it's good for you like it will make your skin healthier Why it's great do it it will help your skin all the products that we use in our skin prep they do help the skin from the deep layers or not like very deep but like deeper layers to the outer layers it's not something that once you wash off your face it's gonna be gone like makeup so do it you won't regret it the first part is what type of skin do you have one of the things that most people just ignore completely are they oh I think I have this type of skin or they don't even think about it and they're like i've watched this youtube or i saw this product and they start applying on the face merry and happy well that's probably not gonna work out or if it is good for you the thing is what most people don't do and they should be doing is look at your mirror look at your skin just like look at yourself how is your skin today because it does change day to day season to season maybe today you're a little dehydrated maybe you got too much sun during the weekend like who knows look at your skin spend a little time you know you and yourself in the mirror i know it can be hard don't pick your skin that's not an invitation for that kind of thing but stare stare at your skin oh do i have dry patches do i have pores that are larger and i want to make them look reduced do i have oily skin you can see like if you stare at your face you see that this this texture from your nose the skin in your nose is different from the one in your cheek which is different from your forehead which is different from your chin for most people probably a hundred percent like those are microbiomes inside just one face your face my face they're all different stare at it and try to you know get intimate with your face with your skin you're gonna start noticing too oh okay so i do have dark circles but my dark circles they are only here on this inner corner area see and a little bit up here my dark circles don't come to here to this outer portion of my eyes why would i apply concealer there i don't need to i do have a lot of redness though around this area of my nose some redness on my cheek some redness on my chin do i need color correct maybe i have a pimple maybe i don't care about the pimple this is the time because the skin preparation for the makeup has to take that into consideration not just the concealer and the foundation but also the skin prep i look at my face and i'm like okay how do i save this <laughs> and you'll be like yeah let's just say i spent 10 minutes looking and staring my skin how do i save this what do we do okay drink some water breathe relax one of the things that i do and i think it does help a lot of my skin is because i shower in the morning and i do my skin routine including spf it's a must right after the shower and i do my makeup hours later it means that that all those products already soaked up in my skin and my skin might already be starting to get some dry patches and oily patches which makes it you know easier for you to notice where they are but it might mean that you might have to put a little more back into it in the moisture area i do use some like face sprays it could be thermal water it could be something like this um i don't recommend buying it because it's extremely expensive i bought it once it worked and then i just bought it's like a saline solution and i just keep filling it up this is great for people that have irritation in the skin or acne or even a setting mist that could work too but setting mist before it all yes if you wanted to last longer even better use a setting mist it helps it to last longer in my case this one has a little bit of oils it makes my skin a little more glowy i can use this 
just a little bit just a little bit of water or even the thermal water just you know bringing some moisture back to your skin it's very important otherwise what is gonna happen when you apply your foundation oh you're beautiful for the first 30 seconds and then after that your skin is like give me this moisture i don't have it and then it cracks up because that's you know chemistry biology if your skin needs moisture and it doesn't have it and then you apply water or something liquid on top of it it's gonna start soaking the water from it is what happens when we do face masks right but we are gonna remove it like if you do a clay mask on your skin you're gonna see that it's gonna Suck up. It's gonna do the same thing to your foundation and concealer. It's gonna leave it cakey. So bring some back. It's not like a hundred percent locked in technique, but it does help a lot in the result after. If you're not gonna apply a full beat, doesn't matter. Do that too. This is treating your skin. It's making it healthier. It's also important. Even if you're not gonna apply any makeup and just go out the door, look. I feel more refreshed. I feel better. I feel more confident already. So the next step is primer, and it's optional. <laughs> Okay, it does enhance a thousand percent the quality of a makeup, maybe if you use the correct one in the correct area, but it's not a given because if you use the wrong one or a primer that doesn't match your foundation, it's going to look worse. Oh yeah, you heard me right. Basic chemistry. We are in Skin Prep Foundation Concealer 101. Okay, basic chemistry 101. <laughs> no, it's, it's very easy. Hear me out. If your foundation is water-based, if it's oil-based, if it's silicone base it will have different behavior in your skin but that will also call if it's gonna sit well on your primer or not so if you use oil primer water foundation not so good yes that's the thing most products nowadays are silicone base so it's harder to actually you know have problems when you are applying but it can happen if you apply a silicone primer under they might not you know mix well so be careful how do you know though? A quick method is look for the first ingredients on your foundation. Let me see. You have dimeticone, oxane, own. All of these owns here, they are silicone. There you go. And it is true. The foundation is very creamy, silicone -y. There you go. It is silicone indeed. And that's how you're going to be able to tell what primer you should be using. Other important things to check. Moisturizer. Everyone needs one. If you have oily skin, if you have combo skin, if you have dry skin, acne prone skin, everyone needs moisturizer because everyone's skin is made you know of water no seriously what varies again is the texture and the intensity of the product you're using so if you have oily skin maybe a gel consistency non-oil based moisturizer is gonna be best for you maybe if you're going into drier months or wintery months and your skin is like you know dry and oh wow does not move maybe you need more moisture that's more moisturizer thick moisturizer maybe slugging during the night your skin is telling you what it needs listen I need my makeup to last long for a long time. We do have primers for that. We have expensive primers for that and cheap primers for that. Those are silicone based and they are grippy primers. That's how you know. Search for grippy primers. Grippy primers, when you apply, they're gonna make your face sticky, sticky like a glue, not sticky like it's oily. And that means that when you apply the foundation, it's gonna just like glue to it and it's not gonna move anywhere. There you go. That's what you need to apply. I don't need that today. So we are passing those. We also have illuminating primers what they would do is they will not only highlight your skin adding a little bit shine which can be pearlescent it can be more glittery but they will also add moisture and hydration most likely not, not all of them but most likely you can add it in areas where you want more shine like as a result in the end of your makeup so let's say you want to highlight those beautiful cheekbones you want to highlight the nose you want to highlight the forehead the, the chin you add on those points it will most likely translate in a less intense way in the end of makeup because you're gonna put foundation on or if you don't want any foundation they're gonna read like hundred percent and will also add moisture so a lot of people that have dry skin they will add over the whole face which is also valid like they want that shine they want that moisture back they add it in the whole face so here I have the rare beauty one which I love it's almost in the end very good very mild shine the strobe by Mac this is the strobe cream uh, 
which is a hydrant too and and the color peach light and this is super light but it has more shine than the rare beauty this is one also one of my favorites i love all of them this is the elf hello glow <laughs> liquid filter and this because it's a little darker than my skin also adds a little bit of a brown so i don't really apply everywhere else or i can apply if i want to deepen my shade a little bit so today we're going to apply the scrub one which reads really really well when applied by itself i know i want to highlight some points in my skin but i know that i also also have some dry points where I want to apply this because it is hydrating if it wasn't hydrating you have to be careful because if you apply something that is not hydrating that it can be like for oil prone skin so it's gonna dry your skin and you already have a dry patch there it's a big mess you're gonna regret it one of the first things and most important things maybe the second so the first one would be know your face right know your skin the second one would be less is more so what do you mean by that the less product you apply the more natural and less fake looking in real life not not in the camera your makeup will appear if that's your desired outcome go slow look at the mirror and apply makeup and even the skin prep very slowly only where it's necessary because if you keep applying everything everywhere out oh, foundation the whole face primer the whole face concealer the whole face you're just gonna be layering so much product that is there's no way on earth that this will look natural in the end So there you go you see i applied product here which was an okay quantity a little bit more than i would normally apply but i just used whatever was in my brush already to spread to the other points on my face i didn't apply everywhere a lot of product so i don't have a thick layer of the product in just one place on my skin and again oh i'm feeling good like this you don't have to proceed with the rest of makeup this is enough go out the door and be happy if you're not though however keep going here we have some pore diffusing primer those are usually very silicone very thick and most likely whitish and they it's almost like you have like a fake like goop silicone yes that's how it is because it's almost gonna do that like it's just gonna you know not clog your pores because it's not clogging your pores but it's just gonna level them up if you in your face have this problem which is pores which everyone has but what i mean by that is if you wanna try to disguise them this is the type of product you have to go with in this case i'm gonna use my rare beauty one i'm just gonna put it in that i, ha I have almost nothing left <gasps> i panned it did i pan it no sad feelings okay i panned it we're not using this so we're gonna use the ruby rose one but this is exactly the same as the makeup forever like there are many of them in the market benefit also has a, a very good one that i used a lot in the past see it's not going anywhere it's just it's a goop it's here be careful not to apply too much of this though i know it it feels great don't apply too much though because it, it can ruin your makeup it could look very unnatural so i'm just tapping i got a little bit of the product and i'm tapping and you want to always almost 99 percent of the time you want to tap makeup in uh, cosmetics you don't want to brush them or swipe them because that just spreads product from one side to the other you want to tap you want to tap you don't want to raise your little hairs on your skin and you don't want to raise the maybe the flaky skin if you keep swiping that's what's gonna happen you're just gonna and most likely you're gonna irritate your skin too if you have sensitive skin so just tap i have my pores here too a lot of pores when i say pores obviously everyone has pores i'm, I'm talking about big pores there showing up a little more of the product for the other side never too much better to go slow you removing makeup it's hard my nose is really oily so the last product i use on it the best it will be because product will slide from it because of the oils and that's a general tip for any makeup the more problematic the area is less product means better result why because makeup it's not magic so if you keep applying a lot of makeup in a part of your skin that is already irritated it has a scab it has acne it has pores it's oily if you apply a little bit it's gonna kind of disguise it if you start applying more it will enhance it it will make it more obvious this is a very delicate technique that most people don't have and you have to acquire through trial and error my advice for people that are not so used and comfortable with makeup is leave it alone don't fiddle with it 
apply a very light coverage concealer, a very light foundation, tapping delicately a little bit. Don't apply seven layers of product. It might look good on camera. You might see a beauty guru telling you that, but it doesn't look good personally. And most likely your life will be in the real world, not in the camera. If it is, then go ahead. But if it's not, if it's in the real world, don't do it. Another type of primer we have is a color correcting primer. Mm -hmm. This is also a moisturizer and primer in this case color correcting primers are supposed to be used only in the areas where you have problems or you have a color to neutralize should be obvious but it's not i did that already don't apply them in areas that you don't have a color to neutralize the opposite color so in this case it's green is to neutralize red right only in my red areas i should apply this because if i apply it everywhere i'm going to turn other parts of my skin greenish not the look i'm going for don't apply directly on your face that's the rest before disaster back of the hand you can see how this one's much more liquidy go slow so where are my red spots cheeks a little bit of cheek I did apply a primer just now under it but I'm trying to show you guys many options of application that's why I'm doing it usually I would just choose one primer for the area whatever is the problem I'm most adamant to solve oh apply too much product tap it away in tapping you can also spread to other areas I do apply a little bit in my dark circles because my dark circles still have a lot of pink. It's an experiment that I do sometimes with colors to see what will, you know, react better. It's not a conventional color to apply in dark circles. It's usually yellow, orange and peach, which I do apply to. I've noticed for me, particularly because this area is really red, it does work well. I have some redness here on my cheeks today and a little bit here the same thing it's applicable for fine lines i do have lines here i have lines here a lot of smile lines here some on my forehead which me less is more again yes this rule is still apply so the thing is like i said any complicated area of your skin the more product you apply the more you are gonna enhance it that is also valid for lines unless you want to enhance it and you're fine with that which in this case go with it but if you don't apply less product in most likely moisturizing product they can't be too moisturizing unless you have super dry skin because if they are they're going to accumulate and show up you know in the crevices otherwise it's fine go with it and you'll be fine okay so now my skin prep is done so i hope you like this video thank you for subscribing commenting liking all the chats and most importantly i hope you have an awesome day see you in the next one bye